Matthew Newton is not far from what you might think you've met via the screen. I mean, he is um, very personable, very likeable, um, but a hostile witness in regards to doing an interview. He did not like the idea of doing an interview at first. It took a lot of talking for him to do it. And to be honest, I thought he would pull out at the very last minute. Um, he's, he's a complicated man. He's a man that, you know, everybody judges. Everybody has an opinion about Matt Newton. And he makes it easy for people to make those judgments, I guess, based on the actions that they are aware of. In the last six years, Matthew Newton has been embroiled in seven serious incidents, including allegations of assault against two former girlfriends, a taxi driver, and now a hotel clerk. Having faced a number of courts and potential jail time, he now says he's changed. Why should we believe you now? Well, I don't know. I can't, because I guess I'm not going to try and convince you. I haven't come with an agenda. Um, I have come with an agenda before. I mean, this is the first time I've spoken really to anyone not on some medication of some kind. This is your first clean interview? I guess you'd, you'd call it that. I mean, I'm unmedicated. Um, Matthew Newton was difficult to interview because he, um, he finds it difficult to, to say it as it is because uh, he's so aware of people's judgments and uh, he's obviously straddling a fine line between there are things he thinks he can't say that he would like to say. I tried to encourage him to say that <laughs> but he, he um, said no, 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 people don't want to hear that. Um, I've got to cop it on the chin. In other words, he was, he was inferring there was some extenuating circumstances for some of the events of his life. How do you feel about your victim? Well, I'm not going to discuss anything that's been the subject of a legal matter. Yes, I can't. I, I ask you about the victim because I know that you have to write a letter of an apology. Um, mm. a, and I wonder how you feel about you know, somebody that you did hit. I feel, look, I am at fault for any anguish and harm that I have ever caused anybody. There might be extenuating circumstances which can be discussed and argued and used to explain certain aspects of things that have gone on. Are there ever any extenuating circumstances to hit someone? I don't know. Surely the answer is no. I don't, oh, well, no, I, I don't, I'm not, I guess it depends, do you mean in self-defence or what were you talking about? I, I, don't, I, I couldn't answer for every single situation in the world. I'm asking for an understanding of whether or not you believe it's uh, unreasonable. I've been, I've been in the wrong. Whether or not you think it's unreasonable to hit someone and you're giving me uh, I think it's terrible to hit an someone. impression that there I, are times I, when it's okay. I think, no, absolutely not. No, 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 I am not meaning to give you that impression. I, it is terrible to hit someone. You it should is, never hit someone. It is never okay to hit someone. Matthew Newton is of the opinion that this was his last interview, that, that unless he's a Hollywood <laughs> star, which I think he wants to be, um, he's, he's not going to talk about his personal life anymore. That's it. And I, I get it. I see that. I mean, it, it, there's been nothing great about what's happened so far to make him want to talk. Um, it is, it, to be honest, to be publicly tortured is tough, tough going. And to sit down and do an interview of the kind that we had to do with him was like, you know, torture for him. Of all the unusual things we saw that night, uh, the most unusual, the most odd, was when you lay down beside the mm. hotel clerk. Yeah. Do you, do you know why you did that? No, I don't. I, I don't know why I did that. Uh, maybe one day I'll be able to work out what was going through my mind that night. Have you seen the vision? 
I've seen it briefly. Yeah. And what do you think when you look at that vision? <sighs> I... I look at that man and I feel very... I feel sorry for him because I am looking at a different person. When you say you feel sorry for him, you're talking about yourself. Myself. I look at that and I feel sad and I feel like I'm looking at a man that I don't know anymore. Uh, Matthew growing up uh, as the son of Bert Newton has been a big deal. Uh, and in fact, I didn't realise how big a deal that was for him. I put a lot of pressure on him, he said. Uh, he, he said they didn't put pressure on him, but he put pressure on himself. And, you know, he's been in and out of love almost with his family. He, I mean, they've been out of favour and he's been out of favour. They're back in each other's arms now, which he says has been a very good thing. But uh, yeah, but I think there were expectations of Matthew Newton because he was Bert Newton's son. I, I think I put pressure on myself. Hmm. I don't think anybody else ever did. My parents certainly never did, ever. In a way, I think when, when you don't know who you are and you're confused and frightened, it's very hard to be a good son, a good friend a good colleague to work with. It's really difficult because it's a tap dance all the time. I'm just constantly, like, keep moving because if I don't, you know, if I, if I stop moving, they can pin me down and then they'll find out that I'm nothing. Matthew made the point that being an actor allowed him to hide behind actors, that he never had to confront himself. He could be anybody else, and the worst person he could be was himself. So he would do whatever he could, basically, to avoid having to look at himself in the mirror. I might say that he, he made it very clear that being at Betty Ford, um, at the Betty Ford Clinic, was excruciating. It was, he said, worse than anything else he'd been through. And that included those dark days of assaults. Um, he said it, it was that mirror to the face and he didn't, he didn't like what he saw. And it, he said he's been arrogant and he has been um, somebody that not even he liked.